Hello investors, my name is Dehan. Welcome back to No One Place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Super Bowl and how we're gonna be looking at three potential altcoins that could potentially have a little pump or some you know momentum going into the Super Bowl. So obviously the Super Bowl is happening on Sunday, which is gonna be February 13th, 2022. And that's gonna be a big day for crypto because there's a lot of money being put into advertisements, and that's exactly what we're gonna be you know diving in and researching really deep today in this video. So if you're interested in that type of content for a potential gain here. Let's take a look. So first of all, the market is down about 5.5% here in the past 24 hours. So obviously we saw yesterday we had the Russia-Ukraine war situation going on. You know, threats. People are saying that it could possibly happen any day now during the Olympics. Then obviously we had high inflation data the day before and different things happening in the market that also pushed up, you know, um, you know, fears, I guess you could say. So the yield curve is continuing to rise and everything else is going downhill for us. So right now, Bitcoin, 21.7 billion in volume, 13.8 billion on Ethereum. Bitcoin's down 1.8%, Ethereum is down 4.8%, but we are seeing some green. Look at this, XRP, Ripple, it is up about 3.8%. Meanwhile, everything else is red about 3 to 7% or so. Some outliers are definitely there that are even deeper in the red. So we're seeing a lot of red as well on this, you know, uh, on this market. So right now, if we actually take a look at the crypto bubbles, it is a mix. We're seeing some green, obviously, but there's a lot more red now in the past seven days because we're seeing a huge drop here in the past uh, 24 hours to 48 hours. So here we have our top gainer. It's going to be Smooth Love Potion, obviously uh, something that is used with one of the apps. Obviously, it's up over 159%. Shiba Inu definitely pumping here as well, doing a nice move of 29% in the past uh, week or so. We have some other winners here. We have Injective. We have another one here, Gala. We've talked about Gala many times on the channel. And then there's many, many other ones that are on here that are, you know, very interesting, especially Ripple. I mean, Ripple, obviously, you guys already know, has been, you know, hammered down because of all the legal issues that is going on around it. But now, if you take a look here, in the past week, it's up 26%. So it's making a little bit of a comeback. It's very nice to see. So, guys, let's get into these Super Bowl ads. So, first of all, what is going on here? So, let's take a look. Obviously, we have a lot of news going on. So, we're just going to read off of what they have here. So, Binance is mocking its rival with a select. Celebrity ad campaign that attacks celebrity ad campaigns. Basketball player Jimmy Butler and musician Jay Bellin uh, tell viewers to do their own research. So it's not just TV spots. Crypto.com scored naming rights to the LA Staples Center for $700 million. That's something we've been talking about in our recent videos, how Crypto.com could be huge in the future. As we did see a pump here in the beginning of the, you know, beginning of our end of last uh, year in 2021. We have FTX Inc. Uh, you know, 135 million and 17.5 million deals for naming rights to the Miami Heats Arena and the field at California Memorial Stadium. Other crypto firms have also partnered with sports leagues and sponsorship deals. So I'm seeing it actually uh, in sports myself. I follow a lot of soccer and I'm seeing a lot of soccer teams. Um, even if it's a little crypto, you know, one of those pump and dub cryptos, a lot of these soccer teams have, you know, sponsorships from these cryptos, which is just insane to think about. You know, a few years ago, we would have never been able to see something like that. And right now we're seeing a lot of that so let's get into this list guys as you guys already know let's get into the first one ftx token so ftt that is the one we just talked about that inked about 135 million and then 17.5 million for the miami heat arena in the field at california memorial stadium so this one it's trading flat here in the past 24 hours trading at 44 dollars but we might see a little bit of a run here going into the super bowl that is my prediction obviously in the past week we're up or actually down three percent past month we're actually up about eight percent and then on the one-year chart, we're up over 109%. So last year, this was trading at $20. Hit highs here in May at around $61. Pulled back down with the market to $22 once again. Then we saw a rocket here all the way in September to about $80. From that $80 mark, we went down to about $33. So down about 60% of the gains. And now we're seeing a little bit of a comeback and we could potentially see a run. So obviously, we're playing the run here onto the Super Bowl. Obviously, this is not financial advice. This is just something that I'm looking at. And, you know, uh, we're just making an example of what could possibly happen with this. Uh, it could be like a Doge, so Dogecoin situation that we saw last year with Elon Musk on the SNL show. We might see a pump into the you know event, and then after the event, it might dump. We have 6.1 billion market cap right now. Volume is down 20% at 121.5 million. All-time high, like we said, at $85. This coin is going to be very interesting to see how it's going to perform in the next few years, obviously. But we're going to keep a very close eye out on it this weekend as well, like we said, because... 
there could be a day trade opportunity in this situation right here. So let's take a look and see what happens with FTX token in the next few days. So that's going to be our first crypto. Our second one on this list is going to be a big one. Binance coin, BNB, another big player here that we could be seeing a move happening on the upside. So $403 right now, down about 2.5%. Past week, we're down 3%. Past month, we're down 16% at lows down here at around $340. In the past year, we're up 194%. This was trading at around $120. Went all the way to, up to highs of about... Uh, let's just say up here close to almost 700 it was about 690 dollars i believe hit lows down here at 260 again then came back up almost broke through that all-time high area right before thanksgiving it was not able to break through the highs even though a lot of coins continue to pump for the next two weeks after this uh binance coin did not binance coin started to have an early you know dump i guess you could say went down here all the way to lows to 350 and now we're seeing a little bit of a comeback so we're hoping to break through that resistance and push on higher past that 500 dollar area so 66.7 billion market cap volume is flat at 1.6 billion we, we have our all-time high like we said 690 uh, dollars per coin binance coin is a cryptocurrency that used to pay uh, fees on the binance cryptocurrency exchange fees paid in binance coin on the exchange receive a discount obviously so binance coin definitely one of those coins and it's obviously one of the larger cap coins right behind ethereum and uh, bitcoin so it is ranked the number three coin on the list so obviously a little bit more stable a little bit more safe compared to some of these alt altcoins that you know don't have as much backing it so binance coin is definitely an interesting one and another one we're going to be watching here over the weekend to see how it plays out then at the number three spot, we have the big dog. It's going to be Crypto.com Crow. So this one was very, very popular, guys. We've talked about this one in the past when it made a run. So in the past day, it's obviously down 3.6%, trading at 49 cents. Past week, we're actually up 9% past month or only up about 1%, obviously, because we saw that, you know, all, all the way to lows of 33 cents. But we did recover all the way back to about 55 before making a little bit of a pullback. Now, this one was trading at around eight cents last year hit lows down here even lower and then obviously here everything happened in october right when the metaverse started happening a lot of these cryptos started doing big things and obviously they had the naming rights to the arena so this one went from about 20 cents all the way to highs up here almost hitting one dollar so it was at around 99 cents i believe and then right around that thanksgiving time it just started to go lower and lower and lower hitting lows down here at 33 cents so lost about 70 percent of its you know gains which was a great buying opportunity for anybody that wanted to get in for a potential pump on on, on the rise on up so right now we're seeing 12.4 billion market cap uh that could you know double i guess you could say if it, get, it came back to the all-time high areas volume is flat at 193.5 million we have our circulating supply at 25.3 billion crow which is 83 percent of the total supply 49 typical day hold time and it's ranked the number 12 coin on the list 66 percent buy activity and 34 percent sell activity on this coin crypto.com chain is an ethereum token that powers crypto.com pay a service that aims to allow users to pay for goods and services with cryptocurrencies while receiving a cashback reward so obviously they're hoping that they you know make some profits especially after getting the naming rights to the la staples center for 700 million that is a lot of money but they think that's a good investment and then they're going to be able to make their money back with the things that they're doing and especially in the future as they continue to grow you know, their name is going to be out there and more people are going to be able to see what they are doing out in the world. So definitely interesting to see how crypto.com will perform as well. Uh, you know, it's still very cheap in my opinion. This could easily be a hundred billion market cap coin in the future, especially since they're doing these, you know, big things like this advertisements, paying a lot of money for these advertisements. Th that's not cheap. You know, 700 million is a lot of money. So crypto.com is definitely one that I'm going to be watching, obviously, for the next 5, 10, 15 years uh, for a potential 10x opportunity in the market. So let's see what happens happens with this one in the future those are three altcoins obviously right now they're going to be watching here over the weekend going into sunday and sunday night during the super bowl and then even potentially next week we might continue to see a run if we have good uh, you know outcome from these ads if uh, they report good things happening from it so definitely interesting to see how that's going to perform in the next seven days from now especially if we get some good news in the market as well so like we said let's take a look at the market dogecoin here trading at 15 cents shiba inu making a little bit of a pullback down as well we have bitcoin here down about 1.6 percent like we said trading at almost 43,000. we hit highs up here at around 45,000, almost 46 but we couldn't break through that resistance once again we continue to get hammered back down every single time uh, we've tried to break through these areas you know two or three times now aren't able to break through it came right back down we're back to this area so obviously we have a very thin wall right here at around 41,000. if we break through that 41,000 area we're going down all the way to about 37 before the next level that we're seeing so not looking good right there if we continue to 
downward trend, but we're hoping for an upward trend here over the weekend. In the past year, we're actually down 10% on Bitcoin. So if you started investing a year ago, you're actually down on your position. Right under 800 billion market cap, 34% of the crypto market space right now, 71% buy activity and 29% sell activity on Bitcoin. We have Ethereum here trading at around 2,900, down about almost 5%, guys. In the past week, this one was trading at highs of 3,300. Now we're down 2.5%. Past month, we're down 13% with lows at 2,100 at one point. So this one couldn't break through that resistance area. It was exactly at that resistance area. Couldn't break through it. Obviously, we did have bad news as well, so it came back down. But if it would have broke through, could have went all the way up to about 34, 3,500 before continuing on up. Now we look at the one year chart, it's doing very well, uh, outperforming Bitcoin, obviously up 59%. So definitely looking nice here for Ethereum, but we're a long way away from that all time high area around $2,000 away. 345.5 billion market cap, 15% of crypto market space. We have 69% buy activity and 31% sell activity currently. And then obviously 76 day typical hold time. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how Ethereum, Bitcoin, and all these altcoins are gonna perform here in the next few days after all this news comes out about the Super Bowl ads and how it performed and obviously all that advertisement money that was being put in. So guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think is gonna happen over the weekend? Are we gonna see a little bit of a pump here into Sunday or not? Let me know your thoughts. As always, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 50 plus likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, guys, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Before investing, speak to your financial advisor. Do your own due diligence and make sure you understand what you're getting into. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, you know, Super Bowl. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.